there is a movement right now to desensitize the world to the sexualization of children. You know, it's, it's mind blowing to me that human trafficking generates over $100 billion annually. And you've reiterated to us that this is absolutely happening in our area, no matter where we're at, there's child pornography, there's abuse, there's trafficking. But despite all of this going on, I feel a lot of eyes weren't open to this um, and until the Epstein case became well known. Um, it, would you agree? And how much are you able to sh safely share what, how deep you think these criminal activities run within the elite? Yeah, I do agree that, uh, I mean, I'm grateful for the, uh, the, the exposure of, of the Epstein case, the, the documentaries that were, have been done, because it did open people's eyes. That's a mild case, um, relative, I want to be careful here, it's horrific. And there's, I mean, I'm not downplaying at all, but people were so outraged at what was happening there. And it's like, guys, this is happening. Um, I want to take back, I, don't, I didn't mean to say it was, a, it was mild, okay? But I'm, I'm just saying- Comparatively. Comparatively, and the, the children who we are helping are, are even much younger than those children. And the, the kind of abuse and the, the things that are produced in, in the way of child rape videos. I mean, if, if people knew, uh, and, and, and I've struggled for, you know, 17 years trying to get people to listen, even while I was a government agent talking to family and they're like, that can't be happening. We don't believe that could be happening. You know, people thought that child um, uh, pornography must be 17 year old, 16 year olds. And, and we're like, we don't even have time for that. We're talking about seven year olds and eight year olds. And, you know, and it's just incomprehensible to a decent mind. So how do you get people to, to wake up to something they don't want to acknowledge is real? And so um, uh, it's, it's starting to happen. You know, people are waking up and. Uh, and I think that um, one of the reasons that people don't want to see it, not only it hurts, you know, we have a tendency, all of us, especially with pa parents or, or grandparents, we like to, we, we don't like to, but we automatically almost superimpose our children's faces onto those victims' faces, which is why we run from it. I, I can't, and I've, done, I've struggled with that. I see my own kids all the time and it hurts so deeply that you don't want to deal with it. Um, and so that's one reason. The other reason I, I do think that there are, I think sex addiction, which largely stems from um, uh, this pornographic world that we live in, and the and the the excess of porn addiction, which leads to sex addiction, and uh, I think it's a closet crime that affects everyone and anyone, including very powerful people, very influential people, um, and they don't want it exposed. So I do think we're fighting that. I do think that there's a lot of people that don't want to pour a lot of time, resources, energy into this because it'll expose their own, their own criminal activity. And, uh, but if the people get loud enough and we keep doing shows like this and the people are more powerful, the decent people, I still believe are more powerful than all of that darkness. And the louder we get, that wave will crash down and, and, and cleanse the world of this. That's, that's our hope.